can't believe this. That damn Howard Stern's ratings are through the roof. Um, does does anybody want to call action today? <laughs> oh, would you get on with it, please? Oh, Doc, you look a little confused. What's the problem? I don't know. There's something strange here with your friend's brain scans. Well, she is a woman. Who gets them? Am I right? Well, this is this is not right. Well, something wrong? No, I don't think so, but. It's just that we've been monitoring Catherine's brainwave activity every day since she was admitted. For the most part, it's been what you'd expect. You know, thinking about shoes, boys, jewelry. There's days when the brainwave activity radically spikes, displaying intense bursts of activity. We've been rebuilding her personality. Shouldn't that increase her brain activity? No, not like this. There's no pattern to the increased activity. You're welcome to have a look. Just use the keypad over there and punch in the date for any day since Catherine was admitted. The screen will display her brain activity for that day. You'll see what I'm talking about. Maybe you can tell me what's going on here. Well, I don't know, Doctor. Let's try and think. When would a woman's brainwave activity increase? Huh. No, I can't think of anything either. No, wait! Let's try correlating the data with the schedule for the Gilmore Girls. Okay, so this is another puzzle, and the only real trick is knowing what dates to enter. And this might throw you at first, because logically you'll think, well, I have to put in the dates for the Ripper attacks, and you're right, but what are those dates? Well, you have to go back to the Virtual Herald website and just kind of look at the front page, and it really takes place over the course of a week, so once you know that, you're pretty much halfway there. But where I got hung up and where I had to look online again was I had the exact right answer, but this this puzzle's a little bugged because when you enter the dates, you enter the month and the day, but you don't enter the year. So if you do that, you've actually screwed up, and it won't give you any results. But once you enter the full week of data, you can go back and talk to the doctor. Did you notice what I did with Catherine's EEG readouts? The EEGs? You got something on them? Maybe. I don't know what to make of it, though. Catherine's increased brain activity seems to correlate with the Ripper murders. On each day the Ripper is killed since Catherine was attacked, her brainwave activity is spiked. Well, that's peculiar. I suppose it could be a coincidence. Yeah, right. And the Ripper's actually a nice guy. If I were you, Doc... I would check the system Catherine's interfaced with. It may not be as secure as you think. You suggesting the Ripper's getting at her outside the system? Or Catherine's getting out. No, not in her condition. That's not possible. You have a very limited sense of the possible, Doc. Have you seen the talking monkey lab, Doctor? Well, maybe I better ask Catherine about why the activity is spiking. Gah, she's awake! <laughs> All of a sudden she was comatose, now she's sitting bolt upright. How long have you been like that? All right. All right. Things are getting pretty complicated here. Fifteen years ago, Magnata Burton and Ed used to play this virtual reality role-playing game based on Jack the Ripper. In the last game they played, someone got killed for real. That was the Ripper's first victim. I mean, this goes way back, further than we thought. All the way back to caveman times! What about Burton's secret lab? Secret lab... I seem to remember something about that. There's a name. George Rhodes. Must be a monkey sympathizer. Something about Pam Financial Bank on Prince Street. Yeah, that's neat. Um, hey, if you don't come out of this coma, can I have your apartment? Why didn't you Why tell didn't me you were so me? close to the river? Because my mom would kill me. Because I wanted to scoop the great Jake Quinlan. I wanted to show the world I was just as good as you. You were out to steal my story. Why, Kat? Um, I think she just told you why. Dodds would have given you your own byline next time. It's the story of the century. I wanted this one, Jake, and the Times is gonna give it to me. You were gonna... You were gonna take my story to the Times. I can't fucking believe this! I thought we had something here. You know what? I'm glad you got ripped. Yeah, I hope you explode. Who was Josie Dorsett? Oh my god, Josie Dorsett was such a slut. She was on sports medicine just so she could be around the jocks. Why did they kill her? Why did they kill her? Catherine, who was she? They killed her. I know, that's why I used the past tense. Why did they do it? Why? Why? Catherine, who was she? Oh, she was the head of cybernetic weapons research? Hey, that might be a connection. She was my mother. She was my sister. She was my mother. She was my sister. I mean, your name is not Dorset. How? Maiden name. She went back to it after my father left and they killed her. What did you make me remember that, Jake? Oh, yeah. Fight the Ripper, try and rebuild my comatose girlfriend's memory, and suddenly I'm the jerk. How were you attacked? An anonymous source took me to the library to a book about Jack the Ripper. 
It was a trap. I picked up the book, and the next thing I knew, I was in the city. It was old, filthy city with cobblestones and hissing gaslights, and, and I heard horses. Horses? Weren't you high enough level to get your epic mount? He attacked me. I saw him with a knife. God knows what he did to my mind. I escaped. Somehow I escaped. So you logged off, and instead of calling, you know, the police or paramedics in your traumatized state, you hopped into your flying speeder, came over to my place, and then collapsed in my arms. That makes total sense. Well, Catherine mentioned George Rhodes, and I distinctly remember this bowtie-looking dude being the first thing I saw in Catherine's Rolodex. And so I copied down all the information, particularly the really weird set of numbers under the phone entry, and sure enough, that turns out to be the solution to the next puzzle. Excuse me, sir. Are you George Rhodes? Miss Powell sent me. How dare you, sir? Powell's dead. Who the hell are you? Well, nice to meet you too, George. Only she's not dead. She's over at the Medicog doing a great impersonation. My name is Jay Quinlan. I'm her partner. She told me all about you. Then you should know enough not to approach me. Go away. I put everything where. Seven, five, nine. Great. Good, good. You're every bit as efficient as she said you were. The only thing is, though, you see, she wrote the combination down for me, but I I seem to have lost it. Who are you? You're one of the monkeys, aren't you? If you're really with Paul, then you'd know the combination. He's already running through his escape contingency plan to live in Siberia for the rest of his life, just in case someone ever found him. Ah! Incoming surveillance transmission. Ah, jeez, am I ever gonna finish my book? What the hell are you doing here? I told you. I'd stop by later. I don't want you at my hospital anymore. But what if I get another knife wound? Here's the disc of Quinlan's last interface with Powell. It's the last one I'm giving you. That's police evidence. You give it to me as long as I tell you to. If it's police evidence, why is it you don't want anyone to know about it? Don't question my methods, Claire. Mike, you're not questioning mine? I've heard you and Quinlan actually think I might be the Ripper. Huh. Look, we both know one of the original web runners is the murderer. That's a pretty short list of thugs. <laughs> it's getting shorter. As I recall, you did your share of web running. You have an advantage over me, Claire. You know who did it. I've been cutting you some slack, but I run out of time. It's either you or your ex and Claire. I'm going to nail one of you. (laughs) Maybe I should tell your captain about these tapes of Quinlan you've had me making on the sly. Let him decide which one of us is acting more suspicious. The thing cuts both ways, Magnata. There's a few other things I could tell him that he might find real interesting. What did you see in him? He was fun. Not a brooding psycho like you. As it turns out, he was a different sort of psycho. Look, I made a mistake marrying Joey. But that doesn't mean I regret leaving you. Show her your head, chicks dig scars. (sighs) What do I have to do to be free of the two of you? Well, you know, we could have a threesome. It's worth a shot. Kill us. Tune in next week for As the Walkin' Turns. See, now it finally feels like we're getting some answers around here, so, uh... We get to the safety deposit box, we put that code we found in the Rolodex, which was actually surprisingly easy. The only reason this puzzle might be a little frustrating is if you didn't check the Rolodex first, you gotta travel back, and... The worst thing about this game is the traveling back and forth, because that takes a long time. Object scanned into database. The new Apple tablet! Okay, let's see what we got here. It's a summary of cash transactions between Berman Limited and Simeon Technology. Simeon Technologies! It's the monkey conspiracy again! I keep telling you people! It, it, it goes farther, it's, it's more far-reaching, and it goes higher than you could have ever possibly imagined. $40,000 in cash all to fund this monkey research. It's gotta stop, I tell you! It's all going to the Ripper. It all ties together. Okay, well, the next logical step is to go to this Berman Incorporated's website and dig deeper for more financial records so I can have some hard evidence of the monkey uprising conspiracy. And 
And of course, they lock their website with a logic puzzle. But see, that's where the monkeys have gravely underestimated me because I'm a man. I'm a human being. And we have far more evolved brains that can handle much more complicated puzzles than a mere monkey could possibly throw at me. Do you hear, monkeys? Well, this puzzle is actually not all that hard. All you have to do is find two matching pairs of barcodes. And again, that's really the only complicated thing about this puzzle is the fact that you're dealing with barcodes. If you abstract it down to simple letters or something, it's really not all that intimidating. The only trick to this, beyond the barcodes, is the fact that the pieces move when you click on them. But once you figure that out and you've mapped out where all the various pieces are. Again, if you just write it on paper and kind of solve it on paper, it's not a big deal. Item downloading to WAP database. Okay, we got a couple of documents here, and the first thing is a summary of recent transactions for all of the services that Simeon Corporation performed. Terminal images, organ failure, moment of death. All oh, these monkey bastards have to be stopped. They're dealing in some weird mad science stuff here. Someone's paying for this. Someone is paying to have all of these mad science experiments performed on monkeys to try to make them smart and make them outthink us and eventually overtake our society as we know it. And it's uh, Vigo Haman from that letter. And Vigo Haman is the person paying Burton to make the super monkeys. Back off, Quinlan. I read what happened to your last source. And my chest is about the only thing I got left. And I like to keep it from becoming pate spread. I got to talk to you about something Farley said to me before he died. Oh, it wasn't, oh, please don't kill me, was it? You know, it would be ironic if the guy writing about the Ripper turned out to be writing his autobiography. If I was the Ripper and I wanted you dead, you would be dead. So listen to me, it's important. I don't care, the Ripper's making people explode. Like dynamite! Farley said the Ripper kills from cyberspace. Quinlan, you got to do better than that. He found some evidence in their brains of some kind of computer code. I mean, something to do with the body's internal atmospheric pressure. I mean, these people were blown open, not cut. Jesus. Biomorphing through the net? Using a sea space code to control the body? I, I guess it makes sense in theory. No, it doesn't. Farley said the only problem is he wasn't jacked into the net when he was killed, like the others. That would be the easy part. Hmm. Guess the Ripper just puts a timer on the code. It's like killing long distance. Somebody decks in, the Ripper implants the code, my goodness, the victim doesn't even know it's there. That mild case of heartburn turns into instant chest souffle. Then why weren't the other murders like this? Because the Ripper probably didn't have the code perfected yet, but he had to be right there. His matrix on top of their matrix, but now that the kinks are worked out... But what is the matrix? He's got confidence. How can we protect ourselves from the river? Oh, that's way out of my league. You need a real techno shaman for that. I know a guy, Maximum Kane. Now, if anybody knows about this stuff, he does. He's a little difficult to get in contact with. Deck to digital eating, then be careful from there. Oh, should I deck to digital Asian? Look, so what does it take for a man to pull this off? Hey, if it's in cyberspace, don't be so sure it's a man. It's obvious this person's a great cyberspace programmer. Beyond that is somebody with a whole lot of money, because this stuff is expensive. And it takes cutting-edge hardware. Perhaps money procured from illegal monkey intelligence enhancing operations? Hmm. Well, looks like we got a match here. The handwriting on Dr. Burton's prescription pad matches all the signatures of... The Simeon corporate officers. Aha! They tried to disguise the handwriting, but there's no doubt about it. It's the same person. Got you now, monkey bitch. Burton's the only one with control of Simeon Tech. But she practically signed her name to it. This is another one I'm kind of ashamed to admit that I had to check online to figure out, but I couldn't hear what Jimmy Walker said. He slurred his line so badly. But the, the entry code to this place is digital in... No, I didn't think that blinker grid would stop someone who could spec out the Ripper's murder weapon. You've talked to Soap, then. No matter, I figured it out myself. Lots of ways to wreck somebody when they're decked. No kidding. I've cleaned up some of that wreckage. Yeah, Farley blew up like Mr. Creosote. How do I protect myself from the Ripper? Turn your computer off and run in the opposite direction. 
Not an option. What else you got? You're going to need a sensor program to detect covert introduction of any malignant code into your essence matrix. That way you'll be alerted to any ripper attacks. Step one. Next, you'll need an antiviral utility to isolate and destroy any invasive code detected by the sensor. Finally, you'll need a King Hell compression program to load all of this into whatever cheap shit commercial deck you're using. That is, unless you're running a Mac. If you are, I can't help you. Where do I find the sensor? Now, the Ripper will be able to fool any standard sensor program. You need something special. Uh, there's a woman who calls herself Isis in the net. She authored a sensor program. I know where you can make a copy of it. All you gotta do is make it through her ice. Her address is Sidebar. Sidebar? Could you write that down? Because I have no idea what the hell you just said. Where can I get a compression program? You're in luck. I can help you with that. I modified the source code of Blowtech Shrinker. I melted another 30% compression out of it. Get ready and I'll download the program to your deck. Although that'll be $59.99. You got a PayPal account? <laughs> yeah, ooh, ah, big deal, Master Hacker. He just downloaded a copy of WinRAR to my computer. I don't know the difference. Where can I get an antiviral utility? No, uh, let me surf the boards and see what I can do. Check back with me later. You could try Spybot, McAfee, Avast, you know, got all sorts of stuff. Nice as well. So now I gotta get the next piece of software, and again, I had to check online because I didn't understand what the hell he was saying, but the password is Cybard, P-S-Y-B-A-R-D. Like, I was just supposed to figure that out. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm going deaf in my old age, I don't know. Live from the Luxor in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, it's Ripper! What is the name of my master's brother's son? What is your favorite color? Oh, green, I see. Yeah. For some, the vulture is the end. For you, it may be the beginning. Could these pyramids have been put here by ancient astronauts? Decode the message. Okay, actually, there are two ways to solve this problem. One is very, very easy, and one is very, very hard. And actually, if you take the hard way, you'll find one of the most complex, but at the same time, most intellectually stimulating of the puzzles in the game. Um, the hard way is to, you know, decode this big long message using the, uh, you know, figure out the alphabet of this thing. But the easy way is actually given away in the very beginning when you enter this area where it says, uh, what is the name of my master's brother's son? And if you do some research on Isis, because that's the name of the well, you find out that Isis had a brother, uh, Osiris, which was also her husband, ew, and their son was Horus. And that's the answer to the puzzle. But how do you enter it in? Well, um, that's the second clue where it says the vulture is the end for some, but maybe the beginning for you. So if you look for the vulture uh, and you assume that's the beginning of the alphabet, that's A. And all you got to do is basically key in the letters Horus and, well, there you go. The message translates to... If you, eventually you'll figure it out and translate to Horus as well. But that's the much, much more time-consuming way. Oh, oh, it's like a strawberry everlasting gobstopper, but digital. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I've got the address where you'll find an antiviral utility that can erase anything the Ripper zaps you with. Anything. The address is Exterminator. Same deal as with the sensor, though. You have to melt the ice protecting it. Once I have that, he won't be able to touch me. No, it means he won't be able to insert code into your matrix. It just means he'll have to get right into your face to kill you in the net. Don't get cocky, or they'll be picking your lungs out of a shag carpet somewhere. How does he know I have a shag carpet? Wait a minute! And now I quest to find an antivirus utility. Ha, the blissful days before SourceForge. And yeah, you're in for another game, and at first I thought I was in for another really annoying chess-like puzzle, and you will play this game a lot, but really the key is just kind of trial and error, because I honestly couldn't figure out what the pattern was. I just kept trying over and over again, and eventually I figured it out. Uh, 
I'm not sure what else to say about this one. I just kept trying over and over until I found a pattern that kind of started to lead me on the right path. The only real key is you got to start moving fast because if you start to delay, those spaces fill in with skulls and you can't win and then you get trapped. But uh, as long as you make quick, decisive decisions, you'll make it through pretty well. I didn't have a problem with this one. It's weird, but I just guessed. Jeez, the future's so over-romanticized. I mean, today you just load up BitTorrent. It's kind of boring in comparison. Incoming surveillance transmission. No, I'm not going to do it. I won't get involved in something like that, Joey. Oh, yeah. involved. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Stop. Tonight on Friends, Joey and Rachel are at it again. <laughs> Good to see you, Magnetta. What's it been? 15 years? Just like the old days, huh? Me and Claire sharing a moment, right. butting in, wishing you were in my shoes. Knock it off, Joey. Yeah. Before I knock it off for you, you must be out of your mind. Got a convicted killer in here. You set me up, you fucking psychopath. You won't beat it this time. I know you're the Ripper, you fuck. You're not pinning it on me. That's enough. Hey. We don't even know that the Ripper is one of the web runners. Nah, the Ripper's in his room. You could bet on it. You could bet your life on it. I'll be too busy watching my back around you two. Get off, you two! How is it possible that Sully over there is the least deranged looking of the three? I'll see you fry for this, Joey! I'll kill you, you fuck! Hey, hey. Come on! Hey. Oh, come on! It was just getting good! Jerry! 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 Oh no, are we starting over? <laughs> what? What? Come on, don't tell me you're buying into this shit. You really think I'm the Ripper? Looks pretty bad, though, doesn't it? Just you and Folly, you wearing his blood like it's aftershave. I mean, what do you expect me to think? I don't know. Uh, but if I was the Ripper, you'd better tell me everything I want to know uh, so as to not make me mad, huh? Look, Lou, I can prove I'm not guilty if you just help me out. I need you to run a check on this guy named Vigo Haman. Come on, Quinlan, okay? I got five years till retirement, all right? I got two kids in college. I got an enlarged prostate. Whoa! Way too much information! You don't Way too to much! Things. Look, I, I, I know that, that good police work is a forgotten art, but I, you're my only hope that it's not completely dead. I don't need to run a computer check on this uh, Haman. I know who he is. I know who he is. So, uh, who is he? Tell me about Vigo Haman. Thought you'd never risk. He's a made man in the uh, Soho mob. He deals in uh, smart drugs, pirated sea space codes, you know, a lot of dirty stuff. But we haven't been able to nail him. Hmm. This just keeps getting worse. The super intelligent monkey uprising has mob ties? Ugh. Where can I find this guy, Haman? A joint called Cafe de Champ. You ever hear of it? Duchamp, yeah, no, I've heard of it. Um, I've been there a few times. What's he look like? Maybe I've seen him. Big guy, got a beard, kind of swarthy. Sits in the back, heavy accent. That's him. Yeah, you know, the Cafe Duchamp thing is as funny now as it was when they did it the first time, as in, you know, not at all. Do you know anything about a Jack the Ripper VR role-playing game? Yeah, I remember that one. One of the first virtual multiplayer games, wildly popular for about a year. And there was EverQuest. Lousy performance, clunky graphics, but great gameplay. No, it's, it's a role-playing game, so people pretend to be Jack the Ripper? You play Jack or a police inspector, one of the prostitutes he murdered. Wow, you could play Jack or a prostitute? A company called Warp Space designed it. It's funny, as successful as that game was, they just pulled it off the market, never re-released it. They archive a lot of this stuff at well address warp. Seems strange. Well, they usually squeeze everything they can out of uh, their successful titles. You know, like Sonic uh, or Mario. Warp Space re-released everything except this one title. Something must have happened. Well, I'll tell you what happened. They made it so you had to play through company servers. Couldn't run your own dedicated servers. Fuck! Did Falcon Eddie ever play this Ripper game? He was crazy for it. Big Jack the Ripper Knight. In fact, I played it with him and his friends on one occasion. Of course, I got stuck playing a syphilitic hooker. Were two of them named Claire Burton and Vincent Magnata? Doesn't ring a bell. Uh, but there were eight of them playing the Ripper game all the time. Men and women. I only met them all in person once. Usually I just met their data angels in the Ripper game space. 
Everyone had sea space handles like uh, Balfour, Victoria, uh, Leroy Jenkins. Mm-hmm. I thought so. Are you familiar with the Web Runners? Web Runners? Yeah, I heard of them. Bunch of chicken shit kids. I think they stand for something, but waste their time playing games. Did you know that Falconetti used to hang with them? That's right. Yeah, that fits. Because he was quite a chicken shit himself back then. Yeah, I know. What kind of chicken shit loser would play a game about Jack the Ripper in cyberspace? <laughs> you know, uh, I'm very sad all of a sudden. <laughs>